Stop six. Greyfriars Kirkyard and the Mackenzie Mausoleum. The Mackenzie Mausoleum in Greyfriars Kirkyard is the tomb of Sir George Mackenzie of Rose Hall, a lawyer who was influential in discouraging the prosecution of witches in the 1670s. Early in his career, Mackenzie served as a justice deputy, junior judge, during the witchcraft panic of 1661 to 62, and he presided over numerous trials and issued numerous death sentences, but the experience caused him to have doubts over the evidence that had been presented. In a speech published in 1672, he wrote of witchcraft trials, poor innocents die in multitudes by an unworthy martyrdom and burning comes in fashion. Mackenzie's book, The Laws and Customs of Scotland in Matters Criminal, in 1678, included a chapter on the crime of witchcraft that warned against indiscriminate prosecutions and demanded higher standards of evidence for conviction. When Mackenzie was Lord Advocate, the Crown's chief law officer in the 1670s and 80s, he generally discouraged the prosecution of witches. And he was a zealous prosecutor of Presbyterian dissidents. A memorial to these Presbyterians may be seen on the other side of Greyfriars Kirkyard. Uh, he saw them as threatening enemies of the state, but to him, witches were not such a threat. As well as his legal writings, Mackenzie also wrote on politics and philosophy and published the first Scottish novel, Aretina. In 1682, he initiated the Advocates Library, which later became the National Library of Scotland. His name is commemorated in a window on the staircase of the library in George IV Bridge. <laughs>